beloved dog snatched. Surveillance video shows the moment it was stolen from a liquor store a week ago. 7 Action News reporter Aaron Baskerville standing by live in Inkster with a look at why this particular dog is so special. Aaron? Stephen, I can tell you right now that police are involved. The family has talked to investigators several different times. So what happened? A man was walking to the store with his dog. He tied him up to a pole right outside. And when he came out, that dog was gone. This is a dog that's been their ears for them. They're both deaf. And <laughs> Bruiser doesn't bark because he's learned it doesn't do any good. But he lets them know things are going on. It's been an agonizing week for Megan Nairn and her boyfriend, James Forgey, both who are deaf. This photo shows him lovingly holding on to his dear Shih Tzu Bruiser. But the nine-year-old dog was stolen one week ago today. Surveillance video shows a man walk away with the dog from the Harrison Street Liquor Store in Inkster. Nairn's mother got the message out for her daughter tonight. She was mad. She doesn't know what to do. She, was, she spent a lot of time crying. It was a normal routine Forgy had done for two years, bringing Bruiser along as he went to the nearby store and kept him outside. The dog originally belonged to his mother, one of his last connections to her since she died two years ago this month. Then she starts getting information from people saying, oh, we have him and just give us money and you don't know what to think. You, you want to be hopeful. But last Friday, everything changed. What makes it strange now is someone posted a photo of their dog on Facebook saying anyone missing a dog from that area. More frustrating, someone else contacted them asking for hundreds of dollars for the dog's return. We feel lost without him. He's a special dog and we need him. So this continues to be weird. As for that woman who put a picture of the dog up on Facebook, they've been in constant communication with her, but they're not really getting any good answers. They don't know if she has the dog, if that's just another photo she reposted, or if she knows someone else who has the dog. So, of course, if you know where Bruiser is tonight, please return him to the family. For now, we are live in Inkster, Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News. Let's hope someone calls. Thank you so much, Aaron.